Dun, 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 dun. Hi, it's Turtle Guy, and welcome back to Cyber Prime's The Watch Along Wagon, of hey. which I get to intro. I'm Turtle yes. Guy, um, joined by Cyber Prime, That's and me. today he said I could do the intro because yes, we're watching the first. We're reacting to the first look of Netflix's The Sandman that just yes, came out we today. Are. Yes, it did. Part of like Netflix's. Netflix's own version of Comic Con called to to dum to dum, I don't know something like that. Um, this is doing pretty good, um, view wise. So this basically this is, holy shit. I'm gonna have to look at we, <laughs> we, we did the first look. We watched the first 10, look. Cyber Prime. His interest is peaked. Maybe yeah. I'll get him to listen to some of the Audible or read some book, some of the graphic novels. Maybe by Neil maybe Gaiden. I will. Um, maybe I'll get him to. Um. Obviously, if you're watching this, you're either curious Wait. about what is this show, or um, you just you just hear how all the hype. Cyber Prime, you have a question. Please answer. Was it Neil oh, Gaiman ask. that was in the Suicide Squad in the comics? Was that the guy? No. Who got killed in the Suicide Squad comics? No. No, you're thinking of. Oh God! What the hell was that writer? Never mind. Never mind. You're there was thinking, a writer. Uh, no, I know who you're thinking of. You're thinking of whoever did the Doom Patrol. Grant Morrison. Wait, was Think it Grant Morrison? Morrison? I don't know. Uh, Cyber Prime, if you could please look that up very quickly. I'm doing that now. Uh, um... Okay. Neil Gaiman, as mentioned, I think he did... Um, oh yeah, Grant Coraline. Morrison. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. It was Grant Morrison. Turtle Guy is big brain when it comes Turtle to... Turtle Guy has fucking massive DC brain. Vertigo stuff. When it comes to DC Vertigo stuff, I'm bloody there. So yeah. This yeah. is the Sandman. This is the first look, which is basically the first the first scene, and we get a we get a look, and we get to hear some of the characters. So shall we watch it, and I'll fill you in more. Yes, we'll we'll start right now. You All can right. count us down, Turtle Guy. In five, four, three, two, one, play. Smoky House. Smoky House. Robes. Oh wait, I know that actor. No, wait, no, I don't. Yeah, Never mind. you do. Oh, he's I do know that stuff. actor, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's in stuff. That's Roderick Burgess? Hmm. So, there's someone in death, quotation marks. So how did they get an angel's feather? Is that like a real one, or is that like a metaphorical thing? Well, it looks real enough. The magic is working. And they got something. Oh fuck, it's family. Family just dawn gets up out of the cloak. Oh no. You're gonna need all the help you can get. And there you go. Shit, that there guy looks pretty cool. Look. Wait, that's it? He does look pretty cool. That's it, I'm afraid. Oh, uh, Cool music yeah. though, I'll give it that. Very cool music. Well so, wow, that let was me, let me short break down but what sweet. you just seen. That was basically the opening, the main opening bit of the. This is the. This is only the start of it. So the Sandman gets captured by the Sandman, aka Dream, gets captured by this wizard guy. Who, if you if you're paying attention with your ears, they were trying to capture Death, but they fucked up yes. and captured Dream instead. But they they realize that, or do they think that it is death? Or oh is yeah, they 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 no 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 they 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 figure it out. So the reason they're capturing death is they believe if they capture death and put it in that prison, no one will die. Okay, that kind of makes a weird illogical kind of sense. A little well, bit. Well, he's, he's, he's a wizard. Anyway, so the main characters you see is Roderick Burgess, the guy that catches. Dream, Dream himself, who's looking pretty nice. He's got he's got some nice hair. Also, I'd like to mention that um, Netflix also released some character posters of Dream, Death, and Desire. Hmm. Yes. They'll uh, probably yeah. flash on the screen depending on they how will, much time if, Eddie has in his hands. <laughs> if Eddie can find them. Um, yeah. What else? Also, if you listen closely, I think the line where like Dream has family, Death, family. Desire. Death, desire, and destiny. Dream that destiny. is, yeah, that's spoken by the Corinthian. Uh, he oh, is Teeth the guy, Man. 
He is Teeth Man, played by the guy with robotic limbs from Logan. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's another thing. So the villains, te- technically, in this season, we're going to see, like mentioned, the Corinthian. We're also going to see Dr. Destiny. Okay. And, or Dr. John, or, yeah, Dr. Deegan, or Dr. D. The Sandman books, there's ten volumes, so ten books, and then there's a spin-off about, I think there's, there's Overture, which is basically a prequel, and then there's two Was other Was that also ones. written by Neil Gaiman? Oh, yeah. All of what I'm saying has been written by Neil Gaiman. Oh, so, Okay, cool. The main ten books... The kind of spin offy one that focuses on the characters of the Endless, which have been mentioned. That's mm-hmm. Dream, Desire, Delirium, Destruction, Death, Despair. Damn it, I'm missing one. Uh, Dream- Destiny. Oh. Yeah, I said Delirium. Oh, sorry, I was kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I think I said Delirium. No, I think you did as well. Yeah, I think I do. Yeah, any any Sandman questions? So yeah, there's uh, our first look. It should be coming sometime next year. Cool. I look. I'm actually looking for. <laughs> oh, I was. Oh, I just seen also a poster for <laughs> Sandman, but it's Sandman from Rise of the Guardians. <laughs> um, yeah, but... there's gonna be. There might be some confusion. <laughs> this is Sandman, the um, the dream guy, not Sandman, the beat the shit out of Spider-Man or. <laughs> is there any other famous Sandman? Well, in the in the DC universe, there are two other Sandmans. Oh, there's Sandman that goes around with a hat and a gas mask. And that's this one. No, 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 no. Does he not also so have the, a gas mask? He has a cool-looking helmet with a. He, 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 it's not a gas What's mask. a gas mask? He kind of helmet. It's a cool-looking okay, helmet. Mask. He, there's a Sandman that was part of the Justice Society. And he had oh. like a sand gun thingy, or like he beat the <laughs> shit out of criminals, and then he with sand sprinkled <laughs> sand over them. Yeah, this was before the book came out, and they kind of explained, oh yeah, he did it while Sandman was captured for like thirty plus years. Uh oh, wait, so it had the same kind of interesting, very interesting, the same yeah. kind of abilities and stuff. Yeah. Also, I think I've mentioned this in other videos, but um. This, the first season of the show will be 11 episodes, and then it'll follow most of, basically it'll follow the stories of the first two volumes. Hmm. So that's basically what you saw on that little teaser, Dream getting captured, him having to get his stuff back, which means running into Constantine and Lucifer, and fighting Dr. Destiny, and then volume two... I'm not going to give too much away, but it's doing some stuff. And the Corinthian shows up. Hmm. And like, so, I'm do you think, is this going to be incredibly, incredibly accurate, or will it kind of do its own thing? Well, would you like to know when the Sandman was released? Yes, tell me. Tell me now. It was released over 30 years ago. They have been trying oh. to get a Netflix adaptation of this done for 30 years, if not over 30 years. Wow. Shit, Netflix are trying so to adapt the... it before the Netflix is even a thing. <laughs> no. So the, reason, so the reason why it's taken so long TV is... Adaptation. Not even that. So they've been trying... So Neil Gaiman, the writer, has been trying to get an adaptation of Sandman for years. But he didn't, you know... You know, you kind of want to nail it the first time. Yeah, you don't want to have and to, like, he, redo he is, it and yeah, get a bad response. Yeah, he's, he, so, he's been trying for years. They almost did a movie with Joseph Gordon-Levitt. But it does make sense why they're going the series format. Because, yeah, you can tell more said, of the story. Yeah, you could tell more of the story. I believe he went with Netflix because they kind of... I don't know if they offered him more or just they kind of they kind of were like, here's more what freedom. we got. Yeah, I think it's just more freedom. Uh, more freedom. I believe Morgan they're... Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if they had Morgan Freeman, they could bring. They could have like anyone involved. If like Netflix could do that, they could like. He just he went into Netflix headquarters and they were like, "Okay, show me what you got." And they go like, "We have Morgan Freeman." And then they were like, 
He was like, eh, it's okay, but I don't want that. Then he, they showed him we have the Batman. And, and he's like, okay, no, no, it's fine. We have Stranger Things. And he's like, no, 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 it, it, we don't want that. But then they opened the fourth door and they have like a big sign on this saying, shh, don't tell Disney. And they slowly open the door and they reveal what caused Neil Gaiman to shake and sign a deal with Netflix instantaneously. Inside this dark room, they had... John Walker sitting on a couch, oh. reading every single copy of the Sandman that's been released. And he single-handedly managed to convince Neil Gaiman to signing over to Netflix. Or that's at least how I imagine it would have happened. Hmm. But anyway, but anyway. Uh, I can't remember what the trainer thought we were doing before. Oh yeah, is this uh, going to be I, accurate I, to the things or not? I think so. Um, I, I believe Neil Gaiman has signed on to be producer or executive producer. So oh, he's cool. in charge. He's like... He showed up, so he he has a fairly strong say on how it goes. Yeah. But I'm just curious, will this be modernized or will it be set like 30 years ago? If it you will be modernized. So oh, okay, the comic cool. is set, the comic is set in 19, 19, no, yeah, the comic is set in like the time it came out, the 1990s. This will yeah. be set, so like, again, this happens... The events we see in the scene that we just watched happened 30 years ago. But when yeah, yeah. Sandman gets out, he he will arrive in modern time. Okay, cool. And then the story picks up from there, probably. And then the story picks up. So yeah, curious to see what they will do with certain things. And yeah. like I said, they will probably... They'll, pro they'll probably be a lot of changing, like cast-wise there was a whole lot of changes, and we'll see how that goes. Yeah. I do find it kind of curious how he didn't go to HBO Max. Now when I think about it out loud. But then again, Lucifer's on well, that HBO Netflix Max as well. Probably, yeah, number one, HBO Max probably didn't exist at the time. and I don't Oh know. yeah, so this deal probably would have been made years, like not, well, this, not years ago, but ages a ago. A little while ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah. well, I am looking forward to this and I still think I will watch this show. Um, mm. When it comes out, hopefully. Mm. And uh, yeah, who knows, maybe we'll do a Tire Talk review when it comes out, or who knows, maybe we'll do another kind of content when it comes out. Who knows, maybe. we'll have to wait and see. But um, who knows? this has been the Watch Long Wagon reacting to mm -hmm. the Sandman first look little teaser thing. Uh, yeah. Sacrifice Comment ritual, down bring below in dream. If you, if <laughs> yeah, let us, know, let us know down below if you are looking forward to this show. Comment down below uh, if you've read any of the, or listened to any of the actual original books like Turtle Guy, and um, go support and subscribe to Turtle Guy. And if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe down below, because that really does help me out. And I really much, I very much appreciate it. I mean, Really much appreciate yeah, it. I really much appreciate it. But I've been Cyber Prime. He's been the Turtle Guy. This has been the Watch Along Wagon. I've said this so many times. Goodbye. And roll out. And dream on. Yay. I did a cool thing.